uh, hi friends welcome to my youtube channel and uh, so far i have finished the bonnet and the wheel arc so most of the parts i have finished in alias sub d and the rest of the works that i have done in katia uh, by using katia we can uh, create precise and complex 3d models for doing engineer analysis and optimize the design for manufacturing on the other way alias sub d topo command is an excellent reverse engineering tool that lets us create stunning classes surface quickly and easily from any scan data and low poly model if you have any question please feel free to drop them in the comment box and please like subscribe to my channel so friends let's have some fun learning experience so now i am using join command to join all the patches i am using the distance propagation option so cut you automatically join all the patches related patches now i am uh, joining uh, sorry i am taking the intersection between these two joint surfaces to get an intersecting curve So now I am going to split the surface from the symmetry plane so that it will be easier for me to work on it. Later I can make it symmetry when so now I am taking the intersection curve once again. <clears throat> and I am going to split the upper surface and the bottom one from this intersecting, intersecting curve but I think there is a small issue okay let's resolve the issue actually these two surfaces are not intersecting at the end point so I have extrapolate a little in the bottom surface one so this is the result now so I think uh, the issue has not been resolved and uh, let's try some other way and follow me. Uh, yeah, got it. So the surface extrapolated surface is not updated. So now I will update. Yeah, now now the issue is uh, solved. So let's let's proceed for the next. Now I am able to split the bottom surface from the intersecting curve. Uh, I think oh, we need to extrapolate the bottom surface a little so just uh, take a boundary curve with tangent continuity option and uh, use the ext extrapolate command to extend the surface with curvature continuity option So I think I need to finish the wheel arc. OK, 
okay then take a boundary curve with the tangent continuity option so now i'm projecting projecting this curve on the surface with the default option and uh, uh, use the parallel curve command again which take some rough distance we can later change it so now it's time to take another intersection curve in order to get a perfect trim line So by using the smooth command, I already make it a smooth curve. And now going to extrapolate the both ends. We, I need a little extra for the perfect intersection. Actually, I, my plan is to make a tube instead of using any fillet command i want to make a tube and uh, i will intersect the tube with both the surface and i will get two intersecting intersecting lines then uh, with from that intersecting lines i will split both the surfaces and create a blend command so this is the main purpose for creating this Sometimes what happen uh, at the default, uh, the tube uh, the tube command does not intersect perfectly. So this is the reason why uh, I need to um, extrapolate uh, at least some something extra. So if anybody knows why I use the blend command instead of fillet, just drop a comment on the comment box. I'll really happy to see your answer. So this is a very basic question of classy surface. In classy surface, why we use blend instead of fillets? That's a big question and I hope you will answer this and people who don't know they will also get the answer uh, so now I'm searching for the intersecting curve and I need to go to the other world that is hidden the hidden world I could find out the intersecting curve and uh, now I'm going to make it a smooth curve with curvature continuity option and um, yeah the tolerance uh, default tolerance you can take it no uh, no problem uh, so once again i'm going to extrapolate both the ends so the reason i already explained i need some extra lines and uh, i think uh, this end uh, i no need to use any extrapolation because i i'm going to treat some different thing over there 
so i don't need any extra tube there and uh, just hide it and once again take the intersect uh, intersection of these two surfaces with the tube so that we will get we will get two trim lines and uh, we'll split it and we'll use the blend command to join so another scene is that the tube is intersecting two points with two uh, places with one surface so it's uh, this kind of situation is created and just play press ok 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 and leave it as it is later we will resolve in other way because it will create an error when you are going to split so you need to extract by using the extract command if there is another option also there is several options to deal with this kind of situation uh, but i generally do like this uh, whatever i get the intersection i never so now i am creating a 3d curve creating the 3d curves we generally no need creating any point and it's a freestyle option and it is easy to manipulate so i use this technique always so now i'm going to project it on the surface and uh, we will split this curve from this vertex and we are going to create a spline with connecting these two, so two curves uh, with uh, some curvature continuity option and use the option to geometry on the surface and now we will join this to these three and three splitted curves uh, sorry three splitted entities and we will split the whole surface we will do do the same thing from this uh, for this surface also 